From a very early age, I wanted to be somebody because growing up during apartheid, obviously, you became a non-entity. And as I grew, I saw all these injustices and I thought, it's not the right thing. So my music changed my life and my music made me tell the world about the atrocities that I was seeing in my country at the time. Singer, performer, princess of Africa. Just some of the many titles of the legendary Yvonne Chaka Chaka. But it's not been an easy road for the iconic musician. When I started singing, I was 19 years old. I just had a baby. I was in high school and I fell pregnant and I had a son at 19. So my sisters just wanted me to go and find a job to support my child and to support myself to go to university. I went to go and look for a job and as I was waiting there, I, um, a guy was with the lady that was paired with me. So we went to this recording company and the song was playing and the song was I'm in love with the DJ. They've just been having auditions and they wanted somebody to sing the song. And I was at the right place at the right time. I'm in love. So I recorded uh, all sorts of songs. So it was one hit after the other, and I thought there's longevity in this industry. And I started traveling. Her first trip outside South Africa was to neighboring Zimbabwe. From there, she went on to share her voice with the rest of the continent. And I performed in places like the DRC, I performed in places like uh, Congo, Brazzaville, I went to places like Tanzania, Kenya. So I met faces and faces along the way. And I then decided that, you know, since I've got this platform, why can't I use it constructively? It was very good then because songs were written for me, you know. But I then told my producers, now I want to write about the things that I see. Tragedy struck in 2004, when Yvonne lost one of her backing singers to malaria. But that spurred her on to do more to combat the disease known as Africa's biggest killer. And I think God works in wonders because um, in January 2005, I got a call from UNICEF and they were looking for this Yvonne Chaka Chaka and they wanted a goodwill ambassador. And it all started there. Yeah, must, 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 must welcome. Oh, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Ten years later, I am so humbled that I'm still doing the work that I love. But I need to thank my family that they left me to do all the work that I wanted. They left me to travel because I believe Africa is not the dark continent that everybody perceives it to be. Africa is a great continent. I think all Africa needs is not a handout. Africa needs a hand up. My dear daughter, you were born at a time when I was defending the dignity of all Africans. You used your music to play a critically important role in our liberation struggle for freedom and unity. You have made uh, all of South Africa proud to claim you as a national icon. You will always be our princess of Africa. South Africans are very lucky that we were born during this great man called Nelson Mandela's time. Not only him, we've got other great African countries and other uh, African leaders who really helped us and I'd like to say thank you to them and that's why I want to make sure that I do my bit. United Nations head Ban Ki-moon recently referred to Yvonne Chaka Chaka as the Queen of Equality, an honor which she says has left her even more motivated to tackle future challenges as a UN Goodwill Ambassador and a woman of Africa. I can never change the world, 
but I can just help my Africa and say to the leaders, let's have the political will. Let's do it for the next generation. Renadal Calm, CCTV, Cape Town.